So a question that sometimes comes up is, can the ICL correct for presbyopia? Presbyopia is the medical term for the natural age-related loss of near vision. So when we're young, when we're born, we're born with two crystal clear lenses inside of our eyes. And those lenses are very flexible, they're malleable. And that's what lets us when we're young, we look far away and then up close, we can see the full range of vision spontaneously without any issue. However, over three or four decades of life, by the time we hit somewhere between 43 to 46 years of age, those lenses stiffen up, they lose that elasticity. And that's what, you, what makes people you see holding their phone a little bit further from their face. Maybe they have to make the font bigger, they wear reading glasses or cheaters. That's what's going on. The lenses in their eyes have stiffened up. So can the ICL prevent that? The answer is no, but it can mitigate the effect of that in the form of monovision. Monovision is where one eye is fully corrected for distance and one eye is just slightly undercorrected a little bit. So we leave people with just a little bit of nearsightedness if their brain will tolerate that. But I never do monovision for someone with surgery unless we test it out beforehand. So these are measurements we get in clinic. We can simulate monovision in clinic. Sometimes we have people wear contact lenses after their visit with us and they test out the monovision for a week or two. If they ultimately don't like the monovision and the contact lenses, I know they're not gonna be happy after surgery. So then we talk about either just not doing surgery at all or fully correcting the prescription, meaning they'll see perfect far away, they'll see terrific in the intermediate range, but up close, they're probably gonna to start to need to use a little bit of help in the form of cheaters around the age of 43, 44, 45.